I wake up. I do my morning routine. I make sure that what I write, wake up. I wake up at originally it was five 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 a.m. But I just like it yeah, was just six. okay. It was too specific. So pretty much like six six to seven between there and stuff like that. It's probably the perfect time for me to wake up. And it's still dark out, bro. During that time, mm-hmm. it's like pitch dark out at that time. And what I do is I do my morning routine. I drink my water. I drink my. I take well, my supplements. All your morning routines. So let me grab my. Let me grab my paper. Go ahead. I've written down here. So the first thing. First thing I do is I I drink my water, my potion, How chlorophyll, much? thirty-two ounces, down to down a quarter of a gallon. First thing in the morning, and I put lemon salt water right into the thing. Drink it. I've been doing that for nine months, months on end. Drinking that potion in the morning. And then I've been doing this the past month or so, but having a login post, I have a habit tracker. And every morning I log in, log into what? The game of life. Showing people, hey guys, I'm logged in today. I'm logging in. This is a, this is a sign of commitment, a sign of yeah, me playing the yourself. game. Yeah, it's for myself More and also to, yeah. to help, I mean, to show people that logging in, right? Show school. up, show up as a commitment, right? Mm. Next thing is journaling. I've been things with journaling it's like people can get kind of confused with oh what should i write or what should i do but it's you get a lot of freedom when it comes to it i've tried gratitude writing down my goals writing down the actions whatever but i just keep it simple right now i i just write down two pages on two i fill out two pages the first page is a letter to god i thank him i tell him what i'm grateful for i tell him I ask him for things sometimes. I pray to him. I write down. I just the first thing I do is just write a letter to God, and then the next page is just a current status of my life, like how I'm feeling, what I've been up to, what I've been thinking. First thing in the morning to gain that clarity, to understand my mission. Right. Mm-hmm. Next Sorry, thing I is. It's funny because you you said uh, I do it simpler, and then you just say I write two full pages. <laughs> God damn. Do you think it'd be interesting for people to, for example, if they don't believe in God, to write a you know a letter to themselves for the future or to their past self? it would be a good idea to kind of write down your current status. Okay, how did you feel that morning? Or what is something that you've went through that's been like difficult? It's almost like a, you're giving yourself a status update. Mm-hmm. Your journal is like a, like a, your journal is journaling your journey, right? Yeah. So that's what, that's what it can be about. That's what, that's what um, you know, Marines did back in the day. Every day, day one, I did this, this, this. It's basically a logging of what you've done of your day. That's what journaling that, That's so was. dope, bro. It is. Dude, Today I'm, we we've arrived at the Caribbeans. We saw fucking octopus or some shit. Exactly, bro. Just, I pretty I'm pretty much documenting the journey inside the game of life in my journal. Right. Things what I found like super that. interesting though is that you can actually go back and read it later on, and I find it super valuable to not only know what you were doing then, but to actually have uh, insights of how your men- mindset was back then, because you can't really. Like, if I tell you what was your mindset when you were 10 or 12 or 15, 16 or 18, I'm sure you could give me, a, you know, an approximation. But when you got this actual login and you can actually see what you were thinking, what your beliefs, what you did that day, I think it's very powerful to see where, how far you come and to have the contrast of where you are now and where you were before. Exactly. You can, like, kind of dig into your old self's mindset and see the growth mentally. And no one else can will see the growth other than you. Like, mm-hmm. no one else can like read the journal and be and like kind of decipher who you were, what you were feeling in that moment because you lived it. So, next thing I get into is I write down the goals, the next current things I'm chasing after, and the tasks for the day. So I always want to get clear on what I'm chasing after, and also, okay. Okay. and then the the like four to five tasks that will move me so forward like, towards like those goals, basically to do list, yeah simple to-do list and those what, what do you th- what do you think is a good amount of to-dos on your list because you said four or five because i feel like a lot of people would put one or two and a lot of people would be like 25 what do you think it, is a good number? i know it varies but what do you think wait, would be good for someone way? probably two or three okay two or three high like priority four. to-dos yeah and these move you forward towards the goals that you you written down so really look at the goals and be like okay if my goal is to get a good physique make sure i go to the gym today boom that's a non-negotiable and you make sure you, you do that. Because why? Because that will move you forward towards the goal. So imagine every single day you took five actions every single day towards your goals, right? You, may not, you might not get there in a month, maybe not in three months, maybe not in six months, maybe a year or two, right? If you just stay consistent. That's the whole idea about 0.1% every day or 1% every day, whatever. And then 
once I do that, I go right into meditation. Honestly, like my morning routine is like you're, it's almost like you're, um, when you think about self improvement, it's like, oh, he does all these things in the morning. Like he does, but I don't really care. Right. I don't really care what people think. Like I do these things with a purpose and intention behind it. Some people will set morning routines and just do it just to do it because they just want to fill up their time with stuff. Right. Which isn't, it, which isn't inherently bad. It's not. But you but do have more value from actually doing it because you feel like you need to and you extract value from it. Exactly. And the next thing I get into is just meditation, five to ten minutes. Depends on how I feel. I open up my windows. Not necessarily breath work, just like deep breaths and just making Mind sure goodness. that, yeah, I'm focusing on awareness and attention. Because for me, I'm not going to self-diagnose myself, but my mind is just like, Sometimes I can be like in a scramble, like very like autistically OCD about things. Like just my mind is just so focused. Like I can I can really delete stuff out of my my mind, but then also be just so hyper focused on things. And so my meditation allows me to kind of choose my attention, choose where my energy goes, because where attention goes, energy flows. So if I can control where my time and energy goes, imagine the things I can put that into, right, and develop. So that's the whole idea. And then that really that's just ends, that really ends the morning routine. And what I've been doing yeah. lately How long does that take globally? How, do you, how long do you think that all takes? 30 minutes. Tops. Okay. Yeah. Like sometimes I take my time. Sometimes I'm just like, I'm tired. So I just take things really slow, maybe 40 minutes. But okay. dude, I used to have like an hour to two hour morning routine. Like <laughs> what are we doing here? You bro? do, you do want to make it short, but you don't want to rush it either. Right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I've been experimenting with morning routines for, the past yeah year year or so i've been, I've been actually good. really really consistent with it i mean what should i do on this camera yeah i'll do it on this camera you can see it over here are my habit trackers that you can see and i have morning routine on there and i i would barely miss a day on there so you couldn't see it i'm oh, sorry yes, I don't, don't worry about it but the, the listeners won't be able to see it either so it's, it's fine don't worry about it wait so what comes wait. after that michael okay so what i've been doing lately is a another sign of commitment with my audience and myself is I do pull-ups in the morning, do something till failure. Get what does that, what does that represent? Because I know you said it's more than just an exercise. Yeah, it's not for hypertrophy. It's not for muscle growth. It's not for powerlifting. But it's just a sign of just commitment. If I say I'm gonna do pull-ups every single day for the next couple months, right? I'm gonna show up to do it, whether I wake up late, whether I wake up early, whether I'm tired, whether I'm not. I'm just gonna do it, right? And once I say I do. Most people lie to themselves and they say they don't do, right? I used to do this a lot. And sometimes I still do this with certain things. So if I say I'm going to do pull-ups every single morning for the next couple of months, then only just, and I do it, that just gains more confidence in myself. That just means that I have an unbreakable word. I'm trying to build an unbreakable character. So if I say I do, so it's a sign of commitment. It's a sign of, it's a credo with myself. You know what I mean? Do you adjust your back workouts in function of that knowing that you did those pull-ups in the morning no no because it's just it's one set it's one set of failures of pull-ups so it's not like like it doesn't really affect anything how's your back at the moment because you've been doing that for what eight days straight now are you right yeah a couple yeah i'd say like i was doing it a little bit before too but my back it just i don't really feel a difference really it's not like it's growing it 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 makes me think of those you know the it's very popular i think two two years ago was the the push-ups every day you see loads of YouTubers doing, you know, push-ups for, you know, seven days straight, 31 days straight, 60 days straight. It reminds me of that. Exactly. And it's just a way for me to just show up as a commitment to myself, not cheating myself, right? If you want to grow your relationship with your woman, you wouldn't, like, you'd want to show up, I mean, for her, give your time and attention to her. You want to be like, hey, let's go on a date once a week. And you do it. If you don't do it, that's just like, it's almost like you're cheating yourself. You're cheating her. So it's the same mindset. It's like, mm. don't cheat yourself out of things. And a lot of people cheat themselves more than they cheat out other people. Do you have that any other sense. examples for the little challenge, like for push-ups or for pull-ups for other people? Do you have any other ideas for that or not? It's also to get movement in too. Like, I mean, if you're going to wake up in the morning, do some air squats, do some push-ups maybe 50 like crank it out till failure because it feels good like it might burn like a little bit just because it's like maybe even like a quick jog 
quick run. Yeah, or a walk. And I'm about to get into the next thing, which is like I go. I've been going for walks in the morning, even before 75 hard. I've been going for just a walk out in the morning. How long? Maybe sometimes, like in the beginning, it was like 10, 15, but now it's like 30 to 45 minutes. Hmm. And bro, the amount of clarity, the amount of just insights I gained during that walk. I sometimes I listen to an audiobook. Sometimes I listen to nothing. All my podcasts. <laughs> the dumbest podcast straight in my ear listen to this exactly but it's either that or i listen to like some type of uh instrumental in my in my my ear and dude the whole time i'm doing that walk i'm just trying to meditate while walking what that means is that i'm not i'm just being aware that i'm walking that's really it and this whole idea is for me to be getting flow Dude, sometimes I'm walking. I'm not even moving my body, bro. And it's moving. I'm just being just aware that there, I'm moving. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I think like we weird... talked about that even last time because my best friend actually does this and I never really understood it until probably a couple of months after the, the pod we had. He always mm-hmm. told me his form of meditation was walking. And I now, now I quickly get it. It's, it's, def- it's a practice that you can kind of look into. But it's just, it's you just you so... You cultivate it. It takes time. You yeah, really no, appreciate 100%. It. Especially for people that don't appreciate walking. I've always sort of appreciated walking, but that's just an, a level above it. Exactly. And I time it on my watch. And sometimes, bro, like I'm in such a flow state when walking that I look at the watch and it's 20 minutes past. I've already been walking for 20 minutes. I'm like, wow, that felt like nothing. Right? Hmm. And so in the morning, dude, I really do need in the morning, just cl- I need clarity, bro. I need to just be clear before I get into any nonsense, before I go into creating and I let the internet into my 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 mind or any sort mm. of outside forces into my mind. By the way, just to clarify, you still haven't opened your phone, right? Of the whole morning or have you still peaked at it? For no, I have to post obviously on Instagram. Okay. I did that, but it's not like obviously I'm sitting for the there average guy that's it. not um, doing content creation. You shouldn't open this phone at all. Until no, dude, honestly... Out. If I wasn't doing content creation, I would say delete all all social media. I swear, delete it all. And that sounds that sounds like I'm like mean to social media, but <laughs> no, I completely agree. And has that become a vice at some point? Because obviously you're creating contents. Have you ever caught yourself obviously slacking and you you went up to post your story and then you just realize after five minutes that you've been scrolling? Yeah, one hundred percent and. That's the reason why in the morning, like I need, I need things to do and I need clarity. Like my morning routine and it ends with the walk. Once I get home from the walk, that's when I'm like, that's when the morning routine pretty much ends and doing this morning routine and using my phone intentionally with turning on certain music, audiobook, posting, it actually allows me to, to take those and use my phone intentionally throughout the day. Cause how you do one thing is how you do everything. So I've been really good with the phone the past couple of days but when I first started it, like I was kind of just like in the morning, I would post on my login for my habit tracker, but I would just found myself just like checking messages or just like opening apps for no reason. And, but what you need is self-awareness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why am I doing this? What am I looking for? It's be, you've done it so many times. It just becomes an automation. And you're just like, you just catch yourself after two minutes. You're like, I've just yeah, done yeah. on autopilot. Like what's, <laughs> exactly, what's going bro. on? It's crazy. And it's a shame that a lot of people, you know, um, overhype the winter arc the same way that they overhyped morning routines back, like, during COVID. You know, it was all over YouTube again, like, the whole CEO morning routine. And it's a shame because, honestly, I think the morning routine might be one of the, if not the most important parts of your day. Because, and we talked about this last, last, uh, last episode, is that... If you got a good morning, you got a good day. If you got a good day, good week, good week, good month, good month, good year. So exactly. it just starts in the morning because if you just wake up groggy after, you know, sleeping in and you did whatever the day before and then you just eat shit food or you don't even eat yet, you just crawl straight away when waking up and then you just don't do anything of your day. But then, like, for example, my morning routine recently was just waking up, walking to the bus station, going to the gym, which is on my campus. Uh, doing my gym session, doing my sauna and cold shower there, and then going straight to the library and just working. And when I get out of that uh, sports center, I just feel so light and just so ready to attack the day. I'm like, I've started the day on a good foot. And sure, the day could you know, still go to disaster for some reason, whatever. But at yeah. least you've 
put the odds on your side to have the best odds of actually having the most productive day you could have. Yeah, dude, it's, it's it feels so good to just win first thing in the morning. Like you get a lot yeah, of the habits wins. out of the way. Exactly, and they then they compound. Exactly, and I feel like with people, how I used to you my my old morning routine when I went to high school was ooh, wake up, rush out of bed, put on my clothes. I'm already late for school. I have to pick up my friend. We actually, since we're late already, we hit Wawa. I grab two bacon, egg, and cheeses. I grab a coffee. I'm already eating food and driving and talking to my friend and listening to music while driving to school. I'm already stimulated. And I'm like, I'm like in a frantic first thing in the morning. And guess what? That trickles all over into the day. Well, well, I just thought, and I realized a while ago, is that when I was in high school, at some point when I started getting into self-improvement, I tried to not create morning routines, but wake up earlier than I should. Because every time, I, I used to live like literally 10 minutes away by foot from my high school. So obviously I just wake up 10 minutes before <laughs> class starts and just walk there and then I'm straight away in class, which is one, not hygienic at all. And so you basically, you, your brain isn't on yet. Your brain, and people are like, well, yeah, it is. No, your brain takes a while, you know, to, it's like starting a car in the cold. It takes a while. So you, the fact that you wake up, say it, at least two hours before you go to class, your brain has the time not only to wake up but to digest that, okay, the day's going to start, realizing what it's going to do. I just feel like a lot of people just, you know, go over this like it's just a very simple fact when it's not. And I think it's a real, it's a real shame. Mm-hmm. Like morning routines can be really powerful if you know how to use it, especially. And... Like, find that clarity first thing in the morning, bro. It, it's such a game changer. Especially if, like, you're fasted and you're clear. Like, you... Like, bro, after this podcast, like, this is going to be pretty much, like, the end of my morning routine. 